welcome to my channel. If you like my videos, then kindly subscribe, like, and watch. Thank you. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim and welcome back to problem 3.2. The statement of problem is to mine the torque T that causes a maximum shear stress of 45 megapascal in the hollow cylindrical steel shaft in as shown. So this is uh, steel's hollow shaft and uh, maximum allowable shearing stress is 45 megapascal. So you have to determine the torque T. Uh, so let me write the given data. So the given data is that C let this is outer diameter uh, outer radius is C2 so outer radius is C2 that is equal to 45 millimeter and that is equal to 0.045 meter this is outer radius I will write OR here inner radius is given as 30 millimeter so that is equal to C1 so that is 30 millimeter and that is equal to 0.03 meter. Maximum shearing stress tau is given as 45 megapascal and that is equal to 45 into 10 to the power 6 pascal. Length of the shaft is given as 2.4 meter. So we have to find the torque, torque T. This is for the part first. So let's solve part first for the given shaft. This is for the this given shaft. As we know that maximum sharing stress is equal to T into C divided by J where T is torque. C is the distance from center to outermost that is C2. Where J is the second polar moment of inertia so we have we have this value we have this and we can find j as well so we can calculate the torque so torque will be equal to shear stress into polar moment of inertia divided by c so let calculate the j for this circular shaft and we know that that j is for circular hollow circular shaft is equal to pi by 2 into c2 4 minus c14 so you can, you can put value pi is 3.1417 c2 is equal to 0 0.045 to power 4 minus 0 0.03 to power 4 so when you calculate this the value comes out to be 5.168 5.168 into 10 to the power minus 6 meter 4. So this is the polar moment of inertia for this hollow steel shaft. Now we know that we have to find this. So torque is equal to shear stress into J divided by C as shear stress is given as 45 megapascal so 45 into 10 to the power 6 j is 5.168 into 10 to the power minus 6 that we have calculated over here and c is the distance from center to the outermost that is 45 millimeter are equal to 0 0.045 meter so when you calculate this value the torque comes out to be 5.17 into 10 to the power 3 newton or it is equal to 5.17 kilo newton so this is the value of torque that is uh, that is applied that can be applied to this steel hollow cylindrical shock so this was the solution of part first. Now we will move toward the second part of the lecture uh, of this problem and in second part it is given that determine the maximum shearing stress caused by the same torque T in the solid shaft of the same cylindric same cross section. So it is given that 
now the shaft has been changed into solid shaft clear and this torque that we have now calculated is t is equal to 5.17 kN this is applied to a uh, solid shaft clear uh, of the same cross sectional area so area of this area of hollow section and let this is area of sorry area of solid section this is ac and this is area of hollow section so it is given as same so you have to determine the maximum shear stress so part b so for part b area of hollow section will will be equal to area of solid um, cylinder clear and torque is also as 5.17 kilo newton into meter let the, this solid cylindrical shaft having radius c so radius of this radius of solid shaft is uh, is equal to is equal to c and we have to find the maximum shear stress that is applied on this shaft so let's start with its solution as we know that area of hollow shaft is equal to area of solid shaft that is given in the question so area of hollow shaft is equal to pi r as the area of shaft is pi r square so for hollow shaft it will be equal to pi into c2 square minus c1 square and area of solid shaft is pi c square so you have c2 and c1 you can calculate c as well from this equation so put the value c2 was uh, given as 0.045 and c1 was minus 0.03 you have to take the square as well and pi into c square so implies that pi pi will be cancelled so c2 square will be equal to uh, c2 will be equal to 0 0.045 square minus 0.03 whole square and when you calculate it c square when you calculate it and we will take the under root so c will comes out to be 33.5 millimeter or it will be equal to 0.0335 meter clear we have calculated the radius of solid shock and we know that uh, we also need j for solid shock and j for solid shock is equal to pi by 2 into c4 c4 so again put the value of c so 0 0.0335 whole square so it comes out to be j solid polar moment of inertia for solid shock comes out to be Uh, this value comes out to be we have to calculate this we have to calculate this so this value comes out to be 0 0.001762 8 meter whole now you can put the value where tau is equal to t into c divided by j you have the value of torque which is 5.17 into 10 to the power 3 you have the value of c which is 0 0.0335 and you have the value of j which is equal to 0 0.0017628 so when you calculate it the shares stress in this solid circular shaft comes out to be 
2 into 10 is to power 6 Pascal. Or we can say that this shear stress is equal to 87.2 mega Pascal. So this is the shear stress that will be uh, generated in this solid cylindrical shock of the same area that was uh, the area of hollow shock and when a torque of 5.17 kN is applied on that. So this was all about uh, problem 3.2. I hope you have enjoyed the video and if you like my video kindly subscribe, like and watch. Thank you.